Iraq's latest political turmoil saw fighting between Shia factions near the Green Zone. It occurred moments after the powerful cleric Muqtada al-Sadr announced his withdrawal from political life. His supporters, fearing uncertainty, stormed the presidential palace. We are only here to ask for a good life, to ask for schools for our children, access to health care. We want dignity. Dozens of people were killed and hundreds more injured in some of the worst fighting in the Iraqi capital has seen in years. The UN called for calm and warned that the very survival of the state is at stake. Sadr condemned the fighting and told his followers to immediately disperse. I still believe that members of the Sadrist movement are disciplined and obedient, and therefore, within 60 minutes, if they don't withdraw, even from the sit-in in front of the parliament, I will distance myself even from the movement. Questions abound over Sadr's decision to retire. He's been a dominant figure in Iraq for the past 20 years, as a militia leader turned politician. In June, he ordered his MPs to resign from the government after months of political deadlock. The Sadrist movement and its leadership, Mr. Muqtada al-Sadr, decided to be the first victim of leaving the deliberations of forming the government and participating in the Iraqi parliament to other political powers. According to my conversations with him, he has from the first step believed in the majority and the opposition. His options were to either be a majority as a Sadrist bloc or be in the opposition. It was a shock to the government. But Sadr never aspired to become a prime minister. Instead, his real goals has always been to replace his father as the top spiritual leader of the Sadrist movement. When Grand Ayatollah Muhammad Muhammad Sadiq al-Sadr was assassinated in 1999, his job transferred to Qadim al-Ha'iri. For years, Ha'iri was both a Sadrist leader and a critic of Muqtada. Last week, the 83-year-old announced he was stepping down for health reasons and instead of appointing Muqtada as his successor, instead called on Sadrist to follow Iran's Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. It was a major blow to the clerk in Najaf and a possible spark that will ignite future conflicts in Iraq. The end of violence, clashes and gunshot is necessary and important to spare the blood of Iraqis. But it does not mean the end of the political crisis that has been persistent in the country for months. So, could this be the end of Muqtada al-Sadr's ambitions to reshape his homeland? Or is it his latest in a string of retirement announcements, a tactic for rallying his supporters and destabilizing the country's already fragile political system? Ahad Fadli, Newsmakers.